Hello everybody, Wednesday morning. The sun is rising higher and higher in the sky and it is getting progressively warmer. There are a few intrepid souls who've taken the liberty to dive into the water of the old harbour. Not sure they are allowed to be there. We're certainly allowed to be here, but I think they've just gone a little bit too far. I hope the police don't swoop and uh, put them in chucky. Be that as it may, one of the people that I admire most in the Gospels is a Roman centurion, a Roman soldier, um, a man with authority, commanded respect, and he comes, comes to Jesus and says, Sir, and he does, he's kneeling, he's a very humble guy. Uh, he says, Sir, my, my servant is, is paralyzed at home. He's in great distress. Will you heal him? And Jesus says, well, I will come to you and I will do what you ask me to do. And, and the soldier says, listen, Lord, don't even come. Just say the word. I am a man under authority, he says. I say to my soldiers, do this, and they do it. I say to those who work in my home, do that, and they do that. You, sir, simply have to say the word and my servant will be healed. And Jesus then says to him, right, go on your way, your servant is healed. And at that very moment, truly, the centurion's man is made well. And then Jesus says something really quite astonishing. He says, I tell you this, in all my years, I have never seen such faith in the whole of Israel as shown by that man. Now, that's astonishing. That's astonishing. You can imagine the amount of faith that he saw in Israel, and yet it was a Roman soldier, not one of the, the religious type. It was a hard-line Roman soldier, but with a gentleness and a humility that recognized there was a spiritual reality at work here. And he opened it for himself, and he opened it for his family, and that spiritual reality took over and the servant was healed. And it's little wonder Jesus then said, wow, not in all Israel, not in all Israel. That's something for us to think about today. It's not always the people that we expect to show faith that step forward and show the great faith. It's sometimes somebody unexpected, somebody we didn't even know. Um, somebody out of the blue, somebody who you may not even have realized was a follower of Jesus in terms of the way you think. God is a God of surprises. I think in heaven there are going to be far more people than you ever expected. Big surprises. It's a big surprise what that man did. And it's a big surprise what Jesus can do for the least, least unexpected soul. God be with you.